What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Spartan Mining YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing some BIOS mods on a RX 470 and maybe do one on the RX 570 as well. And we're going to be doing it through command line, so stay tuned. We are on the desktop here. I have uh, GPU Z pulled up so you can see that is the RX 470. It's got Hynix memory, and then we can go ahead and swap over to the 570 so you can see that one as well. The 570 is an 8 gig model. It also has Hynix, but we're going to be focusing on this Power Color Red Devil RX 470 that I have. That is a 4 gig model. So it does come with two BIOS switches. I've already tested both of them. I still get the same hash rate no matter what. But I've been wanting to do this BIOS mod by command line for you know a little while now. Also, there's been some people asking about it. But before we get into that, uh, I'm going to just do a test on it so you guys can see what the hash rate is beforehand, uh, before we actually do the BIOS mod to see if we get any kind of benefit. So I'll just go ahead and start up the uh, Ethereum miner that I have using Awesome Miner. So we'll just go ahead and start it up, see what our hash rate is, and then go from there. Not going to be doing any overclocks, we're just going to get the base setting to see what it is hashing out at. All right, so you can see that the 570 is pulling 26 with no overclocks, and the 470 is pulling 20.58. It might go up just a little bit, but considering I am using OBS right now, uh, it's probably depreciated a little bit. It normally is sitting around like 22 mega hash. So uh, that's that's what our baseline is going to be. We'll just say 20, and you know, if we get improvement once we do the BIOS mod, then we can go from there. So we'll go ahead and stop this because we don't need Awesome Miner anymore. Go ahead and close this out. Go ahead and close this out. Uh, we're not going to need the Afterburner. So what you will need to do is have uh, GPU Z. You can also also use ATI WinFlash to save the BIOS, but I just use GPU Z. You'll click this little checkbox right here. You'll save the file, and then it'll bring it up. I have it saved on my desktop already this Elsmer is the original one and then this RX 470 is the actual one click timing patch that I did through Polaris but I will show you guys how to do that so uh, just alright so once you actually save this BIOS uh, you can save it on the desktop itself I already have a folder for it but one thing you want to do if you're gonna be using command line is actually move the uh, the modified BIOS to the ATI WinFlash folder, so we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll just copy, and then I'll go right here and paste it, and you will understand why we're doing that in uh, in a little bit. So that's what you're going to want to do is make sure you actually have the BIOS file in the ATI Flash folder. Also, having it uh, ready and accessible for using command line is going to be good. That way, it's not as hard to actually navigate through through command line to actually get to the folder. But we have that. We have the original ROM, and now we'll uh, bring up Polaris just you know so you guys can see that whole process. So once Polaris is up, just go into Open BIOS. Again, I already have it on the desktop. Go to the original ROM, which is this Elsmer ROM right here. This is for the 470. You'll just click Open, and then it's going to populate all the values for you. If you want to, you can mess with the megahertz. You can mess with the memory and you know whatever else it is that you you want to mess with so uh, right here you can individually change the timing straps if you want to however I I have not done that I, what I did was I just went ahead and did the one click timing patch which was clicking on the one click part alright so you can see once we hit the one click timing patch it just populated from the 1500 strap all the way to the 2000 if you don't want to use the one click timing patch and you want to use something else then you can just say uh, populate the 1750 and paste it to the 2000 line save it and then go from there but once you do the one click timing patch you just go to save as go to that folder name it something easy that and also something that lets you know that this is the modified BIOS and then you just save it there so we don't need the players BIOS editor anymore we can close this out and then the next thing we can do is actually bring up uh, the command prompt. So you can just go to your search bar or whatever, and you can type in, you know, CMD, 
and you gotta open it in administrator. Alright, so once you get to this point, and you have the uh, command prompt open in administrator, then you can click on the folder on your desktop that you have ATI WinFlash in. So the reason why you would want to try to use BIOS flashing through command prompt is if, let's say, you can't actually bring up the console screen for ATI WinFlash, it won't allow you to see the adapter, then this is another option that you can try. So you'll need your full file path, and what you're going to type in is cd space c backslash and then want to put in users whatever the full file path is going to be and then the folder name which is mine is ati flash go so that's just what i'm going to put in press enter and then i am in that folder right now so the next thing that i can do is is to see what adapters I have and to see where everything's located and you know which slot is the 470 which slot is the 570 and whether or not they have a working BIOS is you can type ATI win flash space dash AI press enter it say it's flashing in progress it's just getting all the information it's gonna populate this screen right here so in adapter zero you can see that I have the 4 gig RX 470 it tells you what signatures are on there it tells you the image file that you actually have for your BIOS and then for adapter one it tells you okay this is your RX 570 that you have in here that is a gig because I have one 4 gig and one 8 gig you can eliminate a lot of hassle if you just have the one card in there then you don't have to worry about the adapter location the adapter location is going to be important because once we actually get to the flashing phase you're going to force a BIOS flash on which adapter that you choose so it, it it's important that you don't flash um, a BIOS to the wrong card obviously you don't want to break your card so you don't have to worry about it if you have Nvidia in here it won't bring it up you won't be able to flash the Nvidia cards so if you are running like a 1050 Ti in here or 1070 or whatever the case may be for Nvidia and you have a AMD card that you're trying to BIOS flash the command line it's not gonna flash it I've done it before you don't have to worry about it so this lets you know which adapter slot your cards are in we know that mine is in adapter 0 slot so we can go ahead and close this out we can close this out and then the next phase is gonna be alright so now it's how do you flash it we have this BIOS that we saved and we modified already and we also put it into the ATI WinFlash folder because that's the folder that we're in right now through the command line. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to type ATI WinFlash space dash P space dash F zero for the adapter because we know that is where our RX470 is and then we need the file name which is rx470mod.rom so you're gonna do rx470mod.rom and then press enter so it is now effectively flashing the video card as you can see here flashing in progress it may take more than a minute it's going through we gotta restart the system for the BIOS to be updated so I'll do that once it comes back up I'll come back to you guys and we'll see uh, see how it went alright so we are back up when you what you're gonna wanna do is to verify that your BIOS actually flashed is you just bring up uh, GPU Z again you save the BIOS as something you know a different name like a test RX 470 test 1 bring it up in players BIOS editor and actually check and see if the timing straps actually applied themselves and it looks like it did so we're gonna close that out we can go ahead and close out uh, GPU Z and then we'll just go ahead and start up the mining program and see if we have any uh, any increase in hash rate alright now that we are back up and running and the drivers have been patched and everything is good to go we're gonna go ahead and start the miner up and see how it performs both cards are recognized MSI Afterburner is not on right now, so this is just strictly stock settings as far as overclocks. 
but hopefully we're going to see an improvement on the BIOS mod on the 470. And it's looking like we are going to see an improvement. Go over here, click on the GPU. So we are up to 23.63, 26.65, which is one on the other one. So I believe what we're going to be seeing is actually around uh, 25 mega hash, which once uh, I'll actually you know capture that so you guys can see it. And uh, let's see if we can get some overclock settings going. So we'll bring up MSI Afterburner. Alright, so this is the 470. Let's see if we can bump up this clock. Uh, we'll just go up to 1850. Alright, 24.42. Let's see if we can bump it up to 1900. Alright, let's try to reduce this core, see if it affects. So far, so good. We can go ahead and adjust this uh, temperatures. Or the fan speed so you guys you know don't freak out too bad we'll go ahead and adjust the 570 as well should bring those temperatures down quite a bit so the 470 with the BIOS mod we are at 25.37 while using OBS again I'll shut OBS off and uh, get you know, some screenshots of the actual overclock settings but this is also is the card that I'm going to be putting in the $500 budget rig build that I'm doing, which I'm going to be doing an update video tomorrow on that. So let's see if we can push this uh, this memory overclock just a little bit more. Let's try 1950 and see if it'll take it. All right. Well, it's taking the 1950. You can see 26.19. And let's might as And let's might as well just put in a 2000 in there. It might crash it. And it looks like it is crashing it. Oh, maybe not. 27. 27 mega hash. We can back it back down just a little bit. 1950. All right. So we had an effective BIOS mod on the RX 470 using the command line. Uh, that's going to wrap up this portion of the video. I will uh, put a link in the description uh, to the Discord, the Facebook, and the Reddit. If you come to the Discord, I'll have a channel set up so you guys can get everything that you need for BIOS modding. I'll have the latest version of ATI WinFlash, the Pixel Patcher, as well as Polaris BIOS Editor, all in zip files for you. So you guys don't have to worry about trying to go online somewhere and finding broken links. So make sure you check out the Discord. Again, I'll have the channel set up, so all you'll have to do is just go in there. You can download the zip files, and you'll be good to go. But with that being said, I think we're just going to leave it with just BIOS modding the RX 470 for today, and then we'll work on the 570 tomorrow. Or uh, who knows what we'll do tomorrow. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as the video comes out. And I think that's going to do it. So until the next one, guys, peace.